Hello and welcome to Topics, where we count down the very best that YouTube has to offer. Today we're serving you up something real nice, as we look at our picks for the top 10 YouTube cooking hack videos. For this list, we've gathered the very best quick fix style cooking YouTube videos that will make mundane tasks quicker, easier, and even more fun. What is your favorite pomegranate recipe? and how long does it or did it used to take you to get into a pomegranate. Food preparation videos are also included as we look to cater to all tastes. Number 10, how to poach eggs. Tender whites around a warm liquid yolk that oozes out like gold when you cut into it. They're an essential part of Eggs Benedict. They can turn any salad into a meal or any vegetable into brunch. Found on the Serious Eats channel, the guys on the Food Lab really are serious about their eggs. Poached eggs are particularly difficult to nail, but follow this video and yours will be coming out perfect in no time. As long as it's packed in the US, every carton of eggs has a number between 000 and 365 on it. And that number corresponds to the day on which the egg was cleaned and packed. Probably the most interesting and useful part of this tutorial is the first half, in which the freshness of the egg is explained and emphasized. So a number of 000 would mean January 1st, 003 would mean January 4th, and so on. All you really need to know is that the higher the number, the fresher the egg. Once you have the right egg, you're just a fine mesh strainer and some fairly simple animations away from serving up something to be proud of. We're going to transfer our eggs to a fine mesh strainer and gently swirl it around until all the excess white is drained away. What you're left with is a nice, tight egg. Number 9. How to de-seed a pomegranate in 10 seconds. And so you're just kind of breaking the skin. You don't want to cut all the way through. You want to try and keep those pomegranate seeds intact. So there we go, we've got all the way around. The pomegranate has been the pesky, I'm not sure if I can really bother to eat that fruit for too long. As the husband and wife presenting duo on Fit for Two TV tells us, the pomegranate is a great source of vitamin C and K, but it's also an almighty pain to prepare. Loosen it up a little bit. So again, we're not digging in there and pulling them all out and breaking them up and getting, you know, really messy. We're just kind of loosening them up in there a bit. But no more. Gently pry the fruit open, loosen those seeds out a little, and tap like there's no tomorrow. I'm gonna grab a wooden spoon or a spatula or something uh, like that, and then... It might take a little longer than the 10 seconds promised, but at least it doesn't leave your fingertips stained pomegranate pink. And there's pretty much all the pomegranates out, pomegranate seeds out in the bowl. Number eight, how to crack open a coconut. You know, for a carefree island fruit, coconuts can be pretty stubborn. You might not immediately associate American Express with quirky YouTube campaigns, but their everyday genius series of life hacks is really worth checking out. In this edition, Carrie Bryan has a literal tough nut to crack, but she makes light work of it anyway. First step. Drain that delicious coconut water. It's crazy hydrating, and removing it cuts down on the mess. Grab your screwdriver and place it on one of these three eyes. Hold it steady with a towel, and give it a few good whacks with a hammer until it breaks through. All you need to do is take one coconut, one screwdriver, and one hammer. Safely drain the coconut water first, and then set to work on whacking and cracking the actual coconut open. Wrap it in a towel. Now it's time to bring down the hammer. Give the coconut a few firm knocks until it opens. It's less mess and more muscle-wielding satisfaction. And success! You're basically in Hawaii now. Number seven, how to make an omelet in a bag. Quick and easy breakfast with virtually no cleanup? Yes, please. These omelets in a bag are perfect for camping, family reunions, or a kid's sleepover. Our next video genuinely could cause a breakfast revolution worldwide. Omelets are an international favorite when it comes to our first meal of the day, but they're also notoriously tricky to get right. Not to mention very difficult to make without also making a mess. For each omelet, add two eggs into a large resealable freezer bag. This kitchen hack hops over all those bad things, though, simply by substituting the frying pan for a freezer bag. Press out most of the air from the bag and seal. Shake or squeeze the bag to beat the eggs. Now open the bag and add in your favorite omelet ingredients. Actual cooking time is probably a little longer, but this way you can make multiple meals at once. 
To cook the omelet, bring a large pot of water to a boil. Place the freezer bag in the water. Now you can cook up to eight omelets at the same time. So feel free to have them assembled ahead of time. To make an omelet, you still have to break a few eggs, but it's no longer a chaotic experience. Now wasn't that easy? A perfect breakfast and cleanup is a breeze. Number six, super quick potato peeling. Start by taking a sharp knife and carefully run the blade around the middle of the potato, like this. Then put it into a pan, ready to boil. There are few things more boring than peeling potatoes. In fact, some people will sit for hours the night before they intend to cook their potatoes, peeling them in preparation. Add some boiling water from your kettle and leave the potatoes to cook. When they're ready, drain the water into another pan and keep the potatoes in the first one. It need not be this way. Cereal quick fixer Dave Hacks is here to help us all out of the monotony with a kitchen hack that requires the absolute minimum amount of effort. Run the pan under some cold water for a few seconds until they're just cool enough to pick up. You should be able to see the cut mark all the way around the potato. Not only is it easier, but by peeling the skins away after you boil them, you skip having to accidentally cut yourself on the traditional potato peeler ever again. Next, use your fingers and gently pull the skin off. Then turn it around and do the same on the other side. And there we have our really easy way to peel a potato. Pretty cool, huh? Number five, how to remove the pit from an avocado. Any life hack video that's only 30 seconds long is always a promising prospect. I'm gonna show you the fastest way to get an avocado out of its skin and remove the pit. Not only are we learning a quick fix, but we're also learning that quick fix quickly. Doesn't get any better than that, right? Cut around the lengthwise circumference and just twist the avocado open like this. This avocado trick is probably one of the more widely known tips featured on today's countdown, but we figured it should be included just in case you've never seen it. Plus, the clip even shows us how to present our avocado like a pro. To fan it, make even slices, not all the way through, and then take your hand and just push it. Just think, one avocado in 30 seconds. That's 120 avocados an hour. Think of all the guac that would make. Number four, how to peel a head of garlic in less than 10 seconds. Let's face it, peeling garlic is a pain in the ass. It gets under your fingernails, it takes forever to pull the cloves apart. For another simple and directly satisfying kitchen hack, watch this next clip and never get that ultra persistent garlic smell underneath your fingernails again. Garlic's an important ingredient in a lot of meals, so this video will save a lot of people a lot of time. First, take a head of garlic. You head it with the heel of your hand to open up the cloves. In the video, Todd Coleman takes a clove of garlic, roughly breaks it apart, puts it into one bowl, covers it with another bowl, and in his wonderfully wise words, and then shake the dickens out of it. He shakes the dickens out of it. That really is all there is to it. Where has this hack been all our lives? And voila, all of your garlic is peeled. Number three, how to quickly cook pasta in a frying pan. Most traditional recipes for making pasta tell you to start out with lots and lots of water. We've all been here. We've spent so much time and concentration on concocting the perfect sauce or topping for our pasta, and then we get almost to the end, only to realize that we forgot to actually cook the pasta in the first place. Turns out that you don't need to do that. You can save a lot of time, a lot of water, a lot of energy by starting out with cold water. But worry no more. Just fill a frying pan with cold water and spaghetti. Turn on the heat and race your way to a well-timed meal. Because the water is cold, the pasta won't stick to itself at the very beginning. When it's done, you have pasta that's perfectly cooked. The traditionalists will no doubt take severe issue with this method, but there's no denying that it does get the job done. Number two, how to cut tomatoes like a ninja. Today, I'm gonna show you a quick and simple way to cut cherry tomatoes. Anything that promises even part ninja capabilities is always gonna be popular. So it should come as no surprise that this is the most viewed video on our list. Start by taking your tomatoes, put them all on a plate, then take another plate, turn it upside down and place it on top. There should be a gap in between the plates like this. A little disappointingly, there are no super slick weapons actually required for this hack. Just the typical kitchen knife will do fine. 
Next, take a sharp knife, hold the top plate in place, and carefully run the knife in between the plates, making sure to cut away from yourself. However, the speed and ease with which this tomato slicing task is carried out will wow you into next week. Pretty cool, huh? Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. Start by putting a bit of water in a bowl and top it up with ice, like this. Next, sprinkle over a couple of tablespoons of cooking salt. Give it a good mix. Then go ahead and put your can in. Next, we're going to take a glass and carefully run the fruit over the edge so it completely removes the peel, like this. I'll show you again with the other half. Grab an egg like that and just cut it in half with the shell. Then grab a spoon and go like this. Boom, pull it out. And again. The most efficient way to peel a piece of ginger is simply to use a little spoon and scrape it. Just like that. It barely peels just the brown skin off. So what I did is cut an onion and split it like that and put it down here, that's all. And then I'm gonna grab an egg, break it and put it inside of our onion egg. And look, it's gonna perfectly stay there. Today's cooking tip is how to cut an onion without crying. Number one, cut an onion without crying. Onions, they're in everything. And they attack our eyes on a regular basis. It may be no use crying over spilled milk, but it's impossible not to cry over a cut onion. That is, until now. This cooking with jack clip gets to the root of the problem, quite literally. All right, first of all, we gotta get rid of the part that makes you cry. And that's that part right there. Right where the roots come out, there's like a little bulb inside there and it contains all this gas. And once the gas is released, that causes you to cry. It explains the exact part of the onion that makes us cry, explains how to remove it tear free, and even showcases an optimum slicing method. You're gonna come through here like this and kind of come at an angle. It's gonna be kind of a cone shape. You're gonna cut yourself a circle. Be real careful, take this slow. And you're gonna do about a third of the onion deep. This should contain the entire bulb of the onion. From now on, if you're crying during cooking, it'll only be because you've burned your bolognese or you've overspiced your enchiladas. Just gentle pressure till it starts. You can lay your hand right on top there until it goes all the way through. And there you can see, see how it holds it all together at the ends here? That's it for today's list. If you're as hungry now as we are, then you're already raiding the fridge. Look, if you slice it, it's still an onion. Perfect, isn't it? That's how I love it. As always, be sure to check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Vote for upcoming lists on our Suggest page, and for more great top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Stay safe, have fun, and as always, thanks for watching.